Shaka Racing friends, welcome back to the channel. I just got my Bronco, and the first thing you want to do, even in this cold Chicago weather, is take out those T-tops. Now, when we got the Wrangler, we learned how to take out the, the Freedom Tops and put them into the bag. This bag's a little bit different, so I'm looking at this bag. It's got a very small opening, and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, how on earth can this be done? So, welcome back to the Shocker Racing Garage. We're going to show you how to take out your T-tops. The first thing you're going to want to do is open up the back of your Bronco. As you can see, our lights are going to be so helpful in this process as it lights up the entire cargo cabin nicely. So I have my bag in the back of the Bronco with the Bronco label facing up. That is important. The Bronco label facing up the back of the bag toward the back of the cargo area. And then we're going to unzip this bag, which as you can see is a super tight fitting bag. This is the only opening we have. And if you look at your bag on this side, it's wider than this side. It gets narrow and it's the opposite on the bottom. Wide and it gets very narrow. So you need to pay attention to that as you are taking off your T-tops because that's going to help you figure out the puzzle for putting them in this bag. Now, take this lovely covering out and make sure it's out of the way as you get that first piece in. We're gonna call around and get the driver's side T-top first. All right, I'm on the driver's side, obviously, and we're gonna start taking this T-top out. The very first thing you wanna do is flip this visor down so you can expose all the latches. All right, as you can see, I'm in the driver's side area. You're gonna flip this first latch down you're gonna twist this latch, and they are a little tight, but you know, it is brand new. And then this back latch, which I know is a little hard to see, but as you can see, there's some good light coming from those lights in the back of the Jeep. Just oh, kidding! Oh, busted! <laughs> in the back of the Bronco. <laughs> Great, I had to get used to car Jeep. Now I gotta get used to Jeep Bronco. Oh yeah, yeah. All right, now that all my lashes are de-latched, I'm gonna take off the top, which it's fairly light, which is nice, but there isn't a nice grippy area to make sure that you have it secure in your hands. So this is how I do it for my length of arms and height. I always drag it out slowly a little bit and then I re, I position this latch so it was down. I reposition it up so that it doesn't drag across the body and then I just bring it out like this. I'm gonna turn, put this in upside down on the same side. I want this curved side to be on my left side, right? I'm a teacher. L left. Your hand is an L. Right? You want this curved side on your left side because the bag has the thicker side on the left side. Okay? And you want this down with the latches up. So when I do put it into the cargo bag, now, yes, my windshield latch is closer to me because I flipped it and the back latch is in front. And I'm gonna shove it in there. Now, this is a tight fit, so don't be afraid to really shove your T-top in so that you can get it placed well because putting in the second one is a little trickier if this one's not completely shoved in there, which I think it's good, I'm shoved in. Keep them more this way so that the other freedom top or the other T top that goes on top of this curves that way. And then we're gonna put this protective layering over those latches. The only thing I don't like about this is I like to see what I'm doing. I like my protective layer to be perfectly placed. Now, granted, I can feel it and it is in there well, but geez, they just don't give you a lot of room to work. All right, let's go get that other T-top. Okay, so remember, you want the front clip that goes to the windshield to be in the front when you set this down. Back clip to be facing you. Um, and this time, this is gonna go in this way, okay? Because you want this top 
of the T-top to be at the top of the bag and the clips to um, hug the other clips from the first T-top. All right, on the passenger T-top, I'm finding that when I put this in, it catches and it's hard to get the right positioning to zip it up. So, I noticed that if I just put these back to the lock position, I don't know if this one matters, but we'll put them all back to the lock position and I put it in, there's less jostling needed to happen in order to get this to fit nicely in the side. So I have to take your tape out. Kind of walk it into the back. Kind of doing a mix of pushing both of them down as you're getting ready to zip it up. So really it's just a mixture of having the latches in the right spot, meaning, you know, having them back in the closed position and then taking your time to jostle the T-tops in the correct space since this is such a perfectly fitted bag. It's kind of like fitted clothing. Now we noticed in the Bronco, you have a ton of space around your T-tops. So I'm wondering if I can just slide these over wherever I want them. And then I can use the space for whatever I want because I believe closes very nicely. Now, in the Wrangler, the cheetahs are as big as the back of the cargo area, so you don't have that option of having extra storage. This bag is multifunctional, and you have different ways to set it up in the back of your Bronco. You can leave it down like this, and we'll talk more about that in a minute, but it is also designed to sit it up. And there's these hooks that you can hook it into place. All right, so once you turn it around, you're gonna wanna favor one side to get that first hook in. Latch it in, and then you can shift this this way and get that second hook in. And then this strap goes around the headrest. So, you angle it like this, I can now go around to that seat and like this lovely thing, which I know looks like this. I got it coming around the headrest. I'm gonna fasten it here, pull that strap to make sure it's taut. Even though this is an option and it's a great option, I guess it would be a great option if you wanted to put some storage in the cargo area and you didn't want it sitting on top of your T-tops. But James and I don't like it like this. Granted, it's there's still visibility, but it limits it. We just like them laying flat on the, the ground. Again, even though this is a nice option, we like them flat on the floor, usually when we take out our tea top. So I'm going to unzip the bag, maybe. <laughs> the simple things are getting challenging now. Just kidding. Remembering that the top panel is the passenger panel. As I glide it out, ever so nicely. And make sure all your latches are unlatched. So when you place it in, they're ready to latch. Grab it and let's go. I do love how you know it's in, because it just falls right into place snug. And also remember, you want these visors down. And there you have it, one in, one to go. Carefully take that lining out, grab your driver's side T-top, make sure your latches are not latched, they're unlatched, and 
Get that hooker ready. And as you can see, these are fairly light. Once you get the hang of the shape and the T-top and how it actually fits on your Bronco, they get lighter and lighter. Latch your hook and the other three latches. Visors up, and we're ready for that snow. All right, we have the two T-tops in the bag, and you know we have that third top that goes over the back seats. So, I don't know that I can do that by myself, but let's all watch me and laugh while I try, shall we? <laughs> so there's five latches, so I'm gonna work on the first one here and figure out which direction I'm supposed to go, there we go. One. One right above here in the middle, above the middle light. That's two. This is three. Four. And five. So there's two of these latches. That's interesting. And actually, I don't know, I haven't done this before, but I think I'm gonna start in here and loosen it up. I like to get that one latch. Over. I like to get these latches out so I can kind of close them as I go. Good news is nothing's painted, so I feel better about trying this with a non-painted top. <laughs> but I'm actually a little nervous, so we'll see. It's kind of big. I don't think this will work. I don't know, I wanna keep trying. I'm breaking something. I'm breaking something. I probably scratched something as James just said, who knows? I don't know, maybe it was just the roll cage. But now, James, help, 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 20 minutes later. That was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> My hand was like ready to bust. No, I can't get the top on myself. <laughs> I'm gonna go with, no. That was awful. <laughs> so, maybe other people can, but not can. Not that it's terribly, um, it's not heavy. It's offered, and it's just that I'm short, I think. If I had more height, I mean, luckily I have long arms, but I think if I had more height, it wouldn't have been such a struggle if my wrist didn't feel like it was busting off as I was trying to not throw it on the ground. I think uh, I could do it myself, but I would say it's best to have a friend or a husband or a family member or something to help you. <laughs> All right, so it definitely helps to have a friend and maybe if I do it enough, I'll get used to it and my positioning and my comfort level with the awkwardness, but I think I'd rather have a friend. So thank you, James, for helping me. Go around the other side. So as we were putting it in, I this, this little piece was in this hole and I needed it in this hole because there's two holes and the one hole is for the hook, this hooker thing. <laughs> for this hook thing, <laughs> hook latch. And then this hole is for this, this, I don't know what that it's is. Pin. The nub, oh, it's a nub. This is the nub and the hooker. All right, so we got this in with a little help from my brain. And I didn't scratch anything, so not too shabby. <laughs> All right, there you have it. It is that easy to take your T-tops out and not so bad taking that third piece out, but I mean, like if it's life or death and you have to get some sun and when you're cruising, 
I mean, you could totally risk it and take it out yourself and hope for the best. It's nice to have help with your friends or your husband or your family members to get that third one out. But the T-tops are a piece of cake. They fit in the bag, they store nicely no matter where you're at. So please give us a big thumbs up, some comments in the bottom that we can laugh at or appreciate. And subscribe to our channel. Thank you.